I'm waiting to go shopping and I was just sitting here for my pickup collection time to sort of come round and I thought what, what can I do just to while away the time like you do and um, I've got a new toy this is my probe cam and it goes places where you wouldn't want to go so what I'm going to do is um, a lot of people keep mentioning this BB7 and the BB6 diamond antennas and I have a BB6 here which um, has got the same resistor inductor as the BB7V has. The only difference is that the W wire and the V vertical, um, the vertical has an aluminium bayonet type um, latching um, telescopic um, aluminium vertical uh, element and um, I keep I'm, I'm told all the time that um, you know the, these aerials are, are this that and the other well, the reality is they're very well engineered but they're also very lossy and um, they're not they're not great really um, in some cases it might be better for you to maybe consider a tuner and a piece of wire something like um, a CG 3000 or an SGC I think 237 or something like that fantastic little tuners um, both of them um, and you can use sort of six ten meters of wire um, a very very low profile antenna um, very easy to manage and uh, it, it, you'll get very good results um, so and it's not much different than this so let's go in and have a little look in it um, so let me just swap you over to a different camera I'm going to try and keep everything live so right we're going to go in through one of these little holes here and in there you can see there is a, a ballon and you can just see there there is a looks like the red and black wire join and it looks as if there's another wire going off of there and I'm going to guess that 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 is the feed point okay and I've counted these up already there's two four the six windings there of red and round here I think if I remember rightly, if I can get in there, I've counted those up as well, the, the black wires, and I can count about one, two, three windings there. Now I'm told that this is a six to one ballon, um, but I'm not sure um, about that. I don't know how that's calculated. I'm not much of a ballon expert, to be fair. Not any kind of expert, really. Now, sorry if I'm making you feel seasick here. Um, right now and if I spin this round can I get that round there come on it will go round we can actually see 3.6 kilo ohm there now these are quite big wire wound ceramic resistors in there now I've counted um, something like I think it was if I can get a, a good picture of it yeah, look, um, there's about two per third, so two, and I think there is, come on, go around, two, four, and I think there's about six. I mean, I'm, I'm going to guess that because I can't really get a good picture of it. The other thing to have a little look at as well, if we go a bit further up, if I spin this camera around, you can just see, come on, there you come, you can just see there, there's a little bit of white with um, a cable tie by it. That is a, like a, looks like a, a bushing of some description. And that's where the white, the red wire goes right the way through this whole lot and then goes up to the top, to the top plate. And the black plate, there is a somewhere in there there is also the black wire is soldered to that and you can just see it at one point in that way you can just see him somewhere come on turn around I'm going to get seasick in a minute. I'm going to have to. 
it is, well, I'll take my word for it, it is soldered to that somewhere in there. There, there you go. So there it is, it's soldered to that part there. And as if we sort of come back, you can just about see the black insulation on the end of that wire. So let's call that one quits. Let's turn him down a bit. Very useful little device that. Um, I will leave little links to the um, to the the uh, the camera in the description below. Really good fun that. Quite enjoying it. So uh, let's get rid of that. Um, so let's have a quick gander at what we've learned from, let's do that, there you go. So what have we learned from that? Well, we've got, um, we've actually got six um, resistors on two plates. So there's the two plates and we've got six, um, three 600 ohm resistors. The red wire goes through the bottom plate and fixes to the top plate. And we know that it's got six windings on it. Okay, and we know that that joins to the black wire. Now we know that the black wire fixes there and has one, two, three windings on it and then fixes to the red wire in the center. And then those two then sail off to your radio and they see 50 ohms. And what else have we got going on here? We've also, we mustn't forget that on the top plate, that is also your antenna. So the black wire, I'm going to have a little bit of guess here. I'm, I'm going to suspect that a part of it goes around your SO239. Obviously, it's part of the ground and it gets grounded out here. And that is three turns. That was six turns. Um, so we've got, what is it, 3600. So we've got... Um, 3600 over 6 equals, uh, if I can this right, right, it's going to be about 600 ohms. Um, and you, these are going to be, I reckon they're going to be about, I think these, these resistors are, are about sort of 25 watts a piece. Okay, so I'm thinking this is going to give you about 150 watts um, usable SSB. Now I know that this antenna is quoted to having 250 watts um, SSB. However, I would suspect after about 150 watts, this is going to start generating some, some heat. And um, 250 watts, if you exceed that, it will fail quite quickly, I, I would think. Um, you know, just a guess. No, not that he doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Um, so yeah, so that is um, kind of what it what it is going on in there. Um, there is a similar antenna um, to this uh, called um, it's a it's a comet um, CHA two hundred and fifty. Except that one uses something a bit different. That one um, I've had those apart in the past. They actually use a sort of like a binocular style um, sort of ballon type thing and they what happens in that one is I remember rightly it 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 kind of goes through one of the thing has a loop on it and then it kind of loops around a few times and then that gives you your sort of either your antenna, I can't remember um, which way round it all goes, you know, and that could be your input, and that could be your radio, but it kind of uses the, um, it uses an inductor to actually do it. Again, this is, um, this is all interesting stuff, and I'd love to know how this is, what's going on in these circuits, so if you know, then by all means, um, 
give us a hand in the uh, in the comments below let me know what's going on in this circuit i'm particularly interested in what's going on in this this ballon and whether or not it is um, a six to one um, if it is a six to one uh, ballon because that would be quite nice I, I i've never seen i'm not used to sort of seeing these sort of ratios three and six um that's that's a bit strange I would want, I'd love to know what the efficiency is of this um, because I can't imagine it's going to be very efficient. Um, so anyway, we'll see what what what, uh, what you guys suggest. But anyway, thanks for watching. I just thought you might like to have a little butcher's inside um, and I hope that uh, it was interesting. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. Bye.